It's Jim and Colin from Canada. You're just in time. I was almost done getting the wheel ready. What? What? Oh, no, not that wheel. I was talking about the new wheel. I said, why is she dancing? This new wheel, my final creation, is the ultimate word in non-cinematic video selection. It has a 12th tape capacity with optional DVD capabilities. Tonight, we are going to watch three of these tapes. The first tape, Unauthorized History of Automatic Golf. Automatic Golf? Automatic Golf, that's what it says. What is, what is next? Next, we have Richie Durwald from Branson to Broadway. Uh, so Richie there looks like he's made out of wax and melting. And covered in barbecue sauce. Yeah, he looks like he has the, the buttery glow of a Christmas turkey. He looks delicious. He's red hot. <laughs> he's red hot, literally. Uh, next, we have Tricky People. Uh, can't fool me. Safety rules from Yellow Dine. Eh, I don't know what that is. Did you turn around to read that? that uh, read oh, sorry. that's a good idea. <laughs> it's a new wheel. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Followed by Couch Potato Workout with Larry Bud Melman. More like Larry Dead Melman. <laughs> he's probably, is he, I'm sure he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. He's dead. Next we have Lights, Camera, Bubbles. A wild romp through the world of bubbles. A good clean fun for kids of all ages. Uh, that guy looks like a pedophile. Mm. Hanging with Leo, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, the unauthorized documentary. So I guess he didn't say, I, I, you can do this. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's that. I wonder mm -hmm. if they're going to go into Leo's pussy posse. In uh, well, you never know. His what? His pussy posse. Toby Maguire, all his friends. To oh, go out to thing? clubs, yeah. yeah. Back in the when Leo was, you know, hot up and comer. Well, uh, this looks like it's aimed at 12 year olds. So they probably bring up the pussy posse. Yeah. More pedophiles. <laughs> Next on the wheel is Unique Birthday Party Fun and Variety Show. Professional birthday party entertainment. Guests create their own balloon puppets. Because you're too fucking lazy to make them for your guests. Let them do make their own. 28 minutes. Use this VHS cassette, Party After Party. That is an amazing cover. It's literally just a picture of a VHS cassette. They're literally... For, for birthday parties. If they put any less effort into this, it would just be a black box. Oh my god. And, and now here we have a returning uh, favorite from, I believe that was on the wheel in the very first episode. Oh my God. Didn't watch it. Magic Star Traveler, which looks part kid show and part new age garbage because they're in some kind of geometric shape. And part Mark David Chapman. <laughs> Uh, next up is The Golden Road, Today's Senior Drivers. Uh, it features um, tips to become a safer driver, advice for families and friends, uh, detailed warning signs. Detailed warning signs. You see, so yeah, yeah, so the old <laughs> in a like, car. Oh my God, yeah. the keys. Produced in association with the California Highway Patrol. So it's got to be good. Like, like chips. Yes. Telepathic communication with animals with Penelope Smith. I don't know. I hope we land on this one. I yeah, want, that'd be I great. Learn. I wonder if it's just those three animals, though. <laughs> just a dolphin, a dolphin, a wolf, and it's a, just a trio. Animal. Do they fight crime? Oh, that would be great. Uh, next up is your cat wants a massage. Uh, that cat looks like he wants a little bit more than a massage. Uh, your whiskers to tail guide to cat massage. Mm. Another member of the pussy posse. And then finally we have... Uh, this uh, is Mr. Wiggle Sessions uh, King Tut style. I can read that because I know gangsta graffiti. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't be able to know how to read that. Uh, this is, uh, the cover is actually by Mr. Wiggle's uh, graphics fix. Sorry, graphics. Graphics. So graphics. he's... Graphics. 
He's, he's got a, he's Mr. Wiggles, and he also does tape graphics. He's got a side business doing uh, the graphic design for his own videotapes. All and right. He, and I think he had his arms broken and fixed that way so he could look cooler. Oh, oh my God, that man has two elbows. No, that's the cobra. He's Is doing it? a cobra. It looks more like a duck. No, it's like Mr. Isn't that, he's got Mr. two Wiggles. elbow bumps. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, this is volume one. Let's hope there's Maybe that's why they call him Mr. Wiggles, because his hand is... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who, who wants to give the new wheel its first spin? Oh, my God. What a great honor. Right. I'm just assuming that it's me. I, you, you, just, <laughs> you, just, you just stepped all over Jim's moment. Sorry, Jim. And now you're going to spin well, the wheel. That's fine. We discussed hey. before that I was going to spin it first, but no. Go ahead. Let's do it together. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Clockwise? Clockwise! Okay. okay. <laughs> One, two, three. three. Richie Derwald! Richie Derwald! Yeah! <laughs> Golden Road, here we come! Driving to our friends is very important, otherwise I don't think we'd have a chance to see them. Suddenly she got back into the car and just drove off uh, directly into the building that was in front of us. <laughs> Yeah, I want some dramatic reenactments. <laughs> Especially since accidents that involve seniors are often deadlier given the frail state of older bodies. Their uh, bones become more brittle. They are less flexible, they're less resilient, and uh, more prone to bleeding and bruising. All she did was say their bones become less brittle and you started laughing. <laughs> she did. I just picture like an old lady flying through a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Some studies even suggest that fatal accidents involving elderly drivers could triple <laughs> by the year 2030. Oh my God! Jesus. The public discussion of this looming crisis is often galvanized <laughs> wow. by words of shocking events like the incident. Oh. Very delicate wording Eight from the newspaper. Eight people were killed. 2003, when an 86-year-old driver killed 10 people and wounded dozens more at an outdoor market. Well, Mike, that was Golden sh uh, Road. Golden Road. Were you about to say Golden Shower? Do you watch videos like that in your private time? You know what a Golden Shower is, right? What's the next we we tape we're going to watch and, and on the wheel? I don't know. It's undetermined yet until we spin the wheel. I'm, that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, you want me to spin it? Yeah. Here we go. And I do like the price is right. I thought you were going to manually spin it until you found the tape you wanted. Oh no! 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 Oh! It finally happened! Let's put this on there. Let's Jay. This. Jay? God damn it, Jay. God damn it. Fuck this. Come on, everybody. You are about to get a fascinating first-hand peek inside the real Inside Leo's pussy posse. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you... An inside peek at shots of him from across the street. You can now see the sexiest man alive, like you've never seen him before, in his element. Raw. Drunk. <laughs> Just drunk. High. You know, it's funny, when you're a kid and you're free-spirited and maybe having a pet lizard, people think you're crazy and weird and kids teased him. He was actually such a misfit child that some people called him Leonardo Retardo. <laughs> Leave that out of the video. Leonardo Retardo, Leonardo Retardo, Leonardo Retardo. Leo's very playful nature is instantly infectious with his co-stars. 
So is his herpes. <laughs> Rich, has anybody complimented you yet on your fine craftsmanship of the new wheel? Not on camera, no. Okay, well I would like to comment that this is a wonderful job and it would be a shame if anything ever happens to it. But I'm sure that will never happen. You know, you know I made it flat for a reason. Can't, it's, it's flat. You can't knock it over quite. quite oh, I'm sure there's still plenty of things that could be done to this wheel, but I can guarantee that they will not ever happen. Well, let's hope we land on a good one. Jay, spin the wheel! Come on, telepathic communication with animals. Come on, slow down. Almost. Uh... Come on! Yes! Telepathic! Yes! 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 Penelope Smith has spent much of her life refining her ability to communicate with animals telepathically. Since 1977, Penelope has worked professionally as an animal communication specialist, helping people discover why they are having problems with their animal friends. She tunes in to what the animals are thinking or feeling and tells the owners so that they can find a solution to the problem. This is basically oh a fortune teller. Penelope was asked to help this woman and her dog Trapper. He is extremely sensitive to raised voices, will not allow anyone to pick him up, and has several health problems that are being treated with drugs. Ew. <laughs> just, just experiencing. Like, okay, what is he saying with this crow? What he said was, I'm here. <laughs> Relief. Uh, when he crowed, there was a sense of, I'm here. Things are good. Just because I feel like he's he's not really realizing what's going on, but I'm not sure. By ah! Oh my God! Oh, no. These people look like they belong in the bar scene from <laughs> Galaxy. Man. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Well, it's weird. The whole thing is like in the woods. Yeah. And these all look like desperate weirdos. Yeah. It's like a Star Wars fan film. <laughs> <laughs> All it needs is a lightsaber. Just real weird. It was in the woods. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make the dog play the Wookiee. <laughs> Loved ones must also be on the lookout for warning signs. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's blood. This is, oh. this is the warning signs that the family are noticing, like the dents in your, your mother's car. <laughs> warning signs, there's a small child on your throat. So many elderly people are plowing through crowds. Their ISIS is starting to recruit elderly people. <laughs> The crowds heard the I heard the driver shout out, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of sounded like, like Alu Akbar. Akbar. <laughs> I think it was, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see over this driving wheel. Will you join our cause? Sure. What is it? I just need to get groceries. I just gotta get to the store. Here, take my, this big truck. My children took away my keys. Are you sure I need this giant truck for the store? Yes! yes. Do other cars sometimes seem to appear from nowhere? <laughs> That's a fucking problem. <laughs> oh, oh no! no! Do you tend to see ghost cars? The danger is compounded when you don't have the strength to apply the right amount of pressure to the brakes. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, there were scenes of aerobics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, uh, a mansion that looked exactly like the mansion in Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> and they're... Just they ironic, keep cutting because back. the elderly can't see the road at night. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep cutting back to it and back to it again. Uh, eyes Wide Shut is about napping. With your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is part of the driving test? <laughs> <laughs> is that Irvin Kirshner on the list? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go film Empire. <laughs> I directed a Star Wars film and now they lo won't let me drive my car. Does your parents' car have new dents or nicks? 
This is like speaking to the, the kids or the younger family members. A child shoe, perhaps. <laughs> in the grill. A finger lodged in the front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have they pledged allegiance to ISIS? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know why. <laughs> They apparently do studies. They have engineered an elderly person's suit. Yes. That's to, right. To, to do like recreations. Yeah, that was studies. amazing. Yeah, amazing. So they were, I guess, trying to design or come up with better ways on how to like elderly proof cars mm -hmm. or make cars and like, you know, Just road signs like bigger. A, a suit with like weights so you have trouble hitting the gas pedal and yeah, you're wearing these right. like blurry goggles. He's wearing so you can't like see. a blindfold. With engineers using specially designed suits that simulate the effects of age. Was that an elderly it was, driving suit? It was a, a suit that simulated elderly conditions. <laughs> what? Yeah. And it has some extra weight in the posterior region of the <laughs> suit. Give it a soiled diaper. And a full, a full diaper. <laughs> a full diaper. <laughs> driving under these conditions, the smell is a big distraction. <laughs> They purposely made the steering wheel about like a foot higher <laughs> so they couldn't see. <laughs> An oversized car. <laughs> I can't see anything. And then they had the the little the little van that would pick up the elderly, uh, you know. And then you'd see them getting in. It was like kind of a shuttle bus. And someone had taped a sign. Very over suspect it. sign that was yes. taped on, and it said we <laughs> we. Just, that was actually covering up. It was taking them to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly man. just a sign that somebody had taped on if you removed it. They would just drive them up and like kind of empty them out. And they think, oh, we're going to, you know, a son-in-law's house. Does, like, uh, there's a sign on the slaughterhouse that says casino. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, come on, I got my quarters. Oh, it's slot, it's electrified slot machines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, are, why are the floors metal grates? <laughs> when you get three cherries, it just electrocutes you. They just get to keep playing until they win the jackpot. <laughs> Smash cut to uh, roast beef on special, 50% <laughs> off. Does this roast beef smell bad? It depends. <laughs> uh, oh. That was good. <sighs> Golden Road, today's senior drivers. Yeah, what a hit. Oh, thank you, I mean. Oh, thank you so much. You've got herpes. <laughs> like an old guy. It's like an elderly man. Gentlemen. You, Jim. Yeah. Penelope Smith is uh, a telepathic uh, communicator with animals um, <laughs> of all kinds. She, uh, she helps people communicate um, with horses, ducks, <laughs> dogs, cats, llamas. It's kind of like almost like a step-by-step -step course. She comes into their home and, and almost acting as a medium describes what might be wrong with your pet or your animal. Or, or exactly like a medium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be a huge fraud, <laughs> scam, con artist. Uh, and there are several people uh, in the video um, stating how helpful she's been that she came to their place and discussed the problems with the animals and suddenly the animals seem that much more happy. In future, they've learned how to communicate with the animals. So if the animals are sad or have pain or cancerous tumors, they let the owner know and then- uh, Then the owner can put them down. <laughs> Uh, okay, Mike, yeah. you believe in ghosts. Do you also believe in this crazy thing? <laughs> <laughs> I find the paranormal fascinating. That, that doesn't mean I believe in ghosts. No, this video is, is crackpot central. It is, it, is, it is weird, lonely ladies cat ladies yeah. uh, in, in somewhere in probably California on, on weird farms, mm -hmm. possibly hippie, hippie communes. communes. Yeah. Possibly um, the same one. Maybe the same one. Weirdos who think that this weird lady can talk to their animals for them. And these people are nutso. 
On that note, I'd like to talk to you about my belief in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> One day I was feeding my horses and I heard all of these little voices in my heart crying for help. I thought, where is that coming from? So I went exploring and I came across our little pond. Well, the pond had completely dried up and there were about 500 goldfish laying in a mud puddle gasping for air. And they had sent out the message that they needed help. That's not true. No. How could the puddle dry up fast enough that the goldfish are still alive by the time she... You're questioning that over the fact that the goldfish telepathically asked for help? <laughs> Our, our cynicism took over, as it does, with, yeah. with terrible videos, and it's like, okay, Penelope Smith is going to charge you 5000 bucks to come out to your house and talk to your animals. I there was waiting for it when I heard about okay. phone readings. Yeah. There's no sales pitch. No. Penelope is in such demand that she cannot travel to work with everybody who requests her service. Mm -hmm. So now she consults with people by phone oh. and tunes in to their animals. Penelope is being investigated by oh. the FBI. <laughs> Name and some basic information. Put the phone to your cat's ear. Provided the animal and its owner are willing. Do you think this is bullshit, Rich? <laughs> What if she got, like, uh, telepathic abilities because her mother was involved in, like, Nazi experiments mm -hmm. in, like, World War II? Let me tell you she's how She's the end result it. of one of those Nazi experiments. Yeah, she got, like, she, to she can talk leave. to him. <laughs> people to create an like... army of people who can speak to animals. That's why Stalin had to, to counter that with his hybrid ape-human program. Uh, <laughs> what? Was that real? That's a, that's a real thing. Like, what? Supposedly. That's crazy. It's a, it's a real thing I heard. I don't know if it's actually true but I have heard that Stalin tried to force a human <laughs> <laughs> to mate with a gorilla no. so so he could have so he, can somebody get me a paper towel you know how exasperating it is when you're driving down the road the windows are closed there's a fly it's constantly flying into your face. this woman looks like Lionel wow, from Thundercats yes yeah, she does <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I'm crazy for feeling. He, he says he feels a lot better. You remember this incident, Foggy? Yeah, you sure do. The normal thing to say is, well, the second one's brilliant. And she didn't. I mean, he's not. <laughs> this is one smart, one very quick guy. You'd love me as long as. As you wanted. Funny about saying is I can I can feel their pain and I can feel the horse going through the pain. Yeah. It spoke of Cider's adventures in other dimensions than this. And she talked to him, although he was 300 miles away. And if they were kept together, it would be dangerous, which it, it had already been because one of them had injured me. <laughs> <laughs> Recreate it. <laughs> See it. Oh. Remember the lady with the plant next door? Yeah. Oh, that she had the fucked up oh, yeah, face. Yeah. She had said that one of her, her animals had yeah, attacked. Yeah, one of her dogs. She had two dogs and they did not like each other and one of them attacked her and she didn't specify. Yeah. But we knew it had something to do with her face. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was fucked up. <laughs> The video tape That's says, why they filmed like six feet away and they put a plant put in a front plant of her. <laughs> oh, 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 we gotta get this camera back. Did a dog fuck your face up? <laughs> How did your lips become asymmetrical? I'm sorry, did I, did I, I say that out loud? I with one of my ape-human hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> this is the early days of the program. I mean... Wait, wait, why does the Russian communist sound like a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> we had the, we had the accident with a human. <laughs> there you go. This is better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there is a brief, very brief mention of how someone was telepathically communicating with a dog who had gone to another dimension. Right. Oh, that's oh right. Oh my god. And, that came out of nowhere. And I thought like, the dog went to another dimension. The, yes, that's yeah. what I'm saying. The dog, the dog had gone to another dimension and then they're like, they brought it back. And the train is, is on the tracks and just falls off and comes yeah. right back on. We're like, tell us more. Mm. After we got around and seen the llamas, we went back into the house oh my god. and she did a reading on one of our dogs, Cider and spoke of Cider's adventures in other dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! <laughs>
We need more. Yeah. Never mentioned again. It's, it's like mentioned so casually out of nowhere. Yes. And, and the over, only evidence you have is a dog with really fucked up eyes. Yes. No, it's, the dog just looks at the camera like... Yeah, it's like... Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was I don't a know what she's talking frightening about. dog. Yeah. There's a bit of bullshit going on there, which leads me back to oh, my... Oh, you think so? Oh, oh! The, the video ha- is bullshit? What? Yeah, that's where they lost me when they said the dog went to another... I was buying it up to that point. Yeah, she yeah. talked to fucking gophers and horses. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah! Look, look out for that monkey! <laughs> <laughs> This guy's beating it with a ray. Jump on you! Jesus Christ! These spider monkeys helped me get through my three divorces. (laughs) Where was she when the whole Harambe thing was going on? (laughs) She could have been Penelope Smith, zoo hostage negotiator. Oh, that would be the best. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, that would be so good. Well, she's still alive, right? Put him on the phone. (laughs) Wait, Penelope Smith on the phone. Oh, they throw that phone in like they do in like Aussie <laughs> situations. And they get, she gets, is it, is the orangutan picks up the phone. It's a special phone they throw in because yeah, they get like a banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone. You need to stop throwing around that baby. They're gonna <laughs> shoot you. He's very hungry. You know what they need to do? You know that, that gorilla that knows sign language? Coco. They need to have they need to have Coco explain that Penelope is full of shit when Penelope is completely wrong about what Coco is thinking. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It could be like a setup, you know? Penelope, we need to tell you. We, we need you to tell us what this gorilla is thinking. She'll do a full reading. What we didn't tell you is that this gorilla knows sign language. Coco! Is what she said accurate? <laughs> <laughs> Is she a fraud? (laughs) Clive, right right turn. (laughs) And, well, she got this picture of this particular uh, tall guy. Now, this was one of my my students who had been over to the house. Mm. Oh, the plot thickens. (laughs) (laughs) To tell. Well, I think this has been successful. This episode or? No, the drawing. Oh, oh, the cover. Yeah, the cover's very (laughs) successful. The the episode, not so much, but the cover. What he said was, I'm here. their peers' approval, they better toe the line. And the line has been in this society that telepathic communication is for flakes, you know, and witches or something. <laughs> Says that instantly gives witches cackle. Well, how do we destroy the Leonardo DiCaprio tape? Mm. Ooh. Do we just try to find him and throw it at him? <laughs> it needs to get ripped apart by like fangirls, fangirl groupies. Make, um, take the tape to a gym. And send it to the beach and then film it through a hole cut in like a changing room tent. Make the tape have sex with a supermodel. Throw it into a bear den. Oh, oh or that. Do it. Yikes. Thundercats? This is the wrong tape! Well, I guess this is how we'll spend our valuable time together. Watching terrible videos and DVDs. Randomly selected from the Wheel of Misfortune. How much longer can I do this for? Doctor says I got a bum liver. There's so much time left on this planet. Bum liver? Bum oh, did liver. I say that all out? Like, I have the liver of a bum. Oh. <laughs> I, that's how excessively I drink. Also, the liver is bad. Did you get it from a bum? I did. I, I had to have an emergency liver liverectomy. 
They replaced my liver, but they can only get one from an alcoholic homeless man. So it was about the same. Was this, where did you get this done? It's some kind of like, like it was in a nail salon. <laughs> but the, the Asian woman assured me she was a doctor. Oh, okay. So she put the liver in your bum? Yeah, at first. Right. And I had to explain to her that it's like right here, pretty much. It's, a, it's in a different spot. It's like right. So. She got out an anatomy book, although I think it may have been a People magazine. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, our first film is called World Wide Web of Deceit. Um, I guess these are the authors. James Robinson and Steve Lane are the creators of it. Maybe it's these two kids. The, the, that's... Hey, Mr. Wiggle Sessions, Volume 1, King Tut style. Oh my God. With gangster writing. <laughs> We've seen this before. I feel before, like I've right? said this before. But this has been on the wheel before. Yeah. It has. Yeah, you can check his website, Mr. Wiggles. Hiphop.net. .net. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fake address. So, I don't know. I'm assuming this is some kind of like dance video. Yeah, don't worry. We're not going to land on it. Don't worry. What's, uh, what's up next, Colin? Oh, Richie Durwald. We've seen this one before, too. He's uh, covered in barbecue sauce. Yeah, he looks like uh, a rotisserie chicken or someone put a blonde wig on a Peking duck. <laughs> and he signed it. It's, it is an autographed Wait, copy. I thought yeah. that said Rachel dead. <laughs> it's a haunted tape. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the ring. Well, this next tape is for both of you guys. Oh my god. Introducing. Hug a tree and survive. No, no, read the spine. Oh, hug a tree and survive Canada. Huh. Yeah. Well, clearly it's like a nature video. Um, probably, I was, I was thinking like Smokey the Bear, like how to prevent forest fires, but the, the weird thing is it's Hug a Tree and Survive Canada. Right. I, I, I want to say Hug a Tree and Survive is a series of videos. And this is and this Canada. This is Canada, but they didn't use any kind of punctuation yeah. to indicate that. Rent a friend. Hi, I want to be your friend. Unbelievable, Oprah Winfrey. Is he, a, <laughs> is he a joke? Is he for real? You decide. Rent a friend. America's original video companion. Available for the first time since 1987. As seen on Letterman, Oprah, People Magazine. Oh. CNN. That's where my doctor gets her information. Oh, apparently Oprah needed a friend. Oh. Doesn't she have Stedman? <laughs> the, the, the smoothest, keenest friend possible. The Washington Post. I cannot believe that's real. Maybe the unbelievable comment is just her saying, unbelievable, I can't believe someone would make this fucking At thing. some point, Oprah did say unbelievable, unbelievable. in her life. Dot, dot, so dot. it's an accurate quote. Or maybe he finds Oprah Winfrey unbelievable. Oh. I just wanted to put that on the DVD. <laughs> I find Oprah Winfrey unbelievable. Well, Don't there is, you? There is like a space here, so it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> there is an accidental space there. <laughs> unbelievable. Abel. Uh, oh my god. Well, he's, he's the original. He's the original. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Uh, David Carradine's Tai Chi workout. The fitness program that began 2,500 years oh, ago oh boy. when he was first starting his career. Probably. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice cover. <laughs> this is probably, yeah, the packaging suggests there was some care put into this. Um, that, that and Richie Durwald's case also suggests that, but... <laughs> Get your autoerotic asphyxiation jokes ready. All right. Because it's time to talk about celebration of age. The cro <laughs> crowning, croning the ceremony. The croning ceremony. Jim, tell us, tell us all about uh, this one. Celebration of age, the croning ceremony. Joyous and inspirational older women sharing stories and wisdom, history and heritage. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're in for a ride. I'm not even sure what this is a picture of. Oh, is that heaven? <laughs> so, is that a? I can't even make heads or tails of that. I don't know. It's some weird abstract piece. And yeah, with, super, with, with the eyes. How is the croning like an old crone? <sighs> I hope we land can't on wait. it because you hate the elderly. <laughs> I don't hate all elderly. Just, just most. Just, just the living ones. <laughs> just the ones that are still alive and in my way. <laughs> Speaking of which... Now, yeah, a, a, a wonderful transition to our next tape. Arranging a funeral. What really happens. Michael, <laughs> what really happens. So, uh, we get to see how the sausage is made. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so to speak. 
And L.A. and Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, neat. Apparently there's lots of people dying That's on the West Coast. That's you just die on the border in both <laughs> countries. <laughs> We're going to bury that one half up here and the other half down there. Arranging two half funerals. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, really works. You start with the saw and two half coffins. Family can fight over who gets grandma's lower half. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say anymore. Nightmare never ends. Who's it? Stan? Stan to P. Stan to P dot com. This is actually a website. Rich, why is this on here? You did this. Teaching women how to pee standing up. <laughs> Our next tape. S&M, sweat and muscle oh, dot com. The dominatrix workout. Kick the dick the gimp. <laughs> Le Lezer mistress Desdemona. Get fit and, and to be tied. Mistress Jane. Dick the gimp. Oh my god. It's right. I thought you were joking. That's another volume one. Huh. I know I know who filled the tape this wheel up with tapes. Next up is uh, the Talking Heads video, Open Flame with David Byrne, grades seven, eight, and nine. I don't know what the hell is going on. No, is his head melting through the window pane? Well, the side says, it says code, it's the Canadian Offensive on Drug Education. Oh. So this is a Canadian drug educational version video. Of the Canadian version of D.A.R.E. I don't know, this, this cover makes drugs look awesome. Brawlin' Broads, hosted by the Boone Brothers, uh, for mature audiences. Hmm. So this is like, uh, is it like Foxy Boxing or something like that? Uh, or uh, maybe it's more like bum fights. Bum fights. So someone's going to die uh, at the uh, end of this. Are these the Boone Brothers? I would imagine. Because so. he looks pretty young. Is this like for mature audiences? He looks like he's eight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just has like 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 a, 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 a disease. I'm getting like an American flatulators vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's not a good. If bite. they're not real fighters, it, this is all just going to be some fakey oh, Lord. sort of like glow, you know, like the fake foxy wrestling. I think it's worse than we ever thought. Oh no! This tape, I already wanted to have a shower, and I just looked at the box. Libertina. Sita. Ishtar. Ishtar! Ishtar! <laughs> <laughs> These men are bonds. <laughs> Hecate. Kwai Yin. Is she summoning like an ancient demon or something? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> She's summoning old ladies. <laughs> we have celebrated the commonality of women's She looks like Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's uh, Louis Anderson. And are beginning to move into a new phase. We have celebrated that new phase with a Every day we are born. Every day. Why are you filming Grandma? You know she's got dementia. <laughs> Many women write verse, essays, poetry, or words of wisdom. Like I'd like to talk to you about the next Star Wars spin-off, <laughs> though. <laughs> oh, Star Wars a crone story? <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get Jabba the Hutt's mother, Mon Mothma. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. There's not a lot of old ladies in Star Wars. Leia. I would say Amperu, but she got burnt up. <laughs> Her corpse is there. <laughs> She's there in spirit. She got Amperu's Jedi spirit. Okay. <laughs> Who does she look like? Yeah, she looks like like um, a man. Like which man? I mean, <laughs> the face. Brian Denny. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Looks like Babe Ruth.
a tree is a safe place to be. And if you're ever lost in the woods, a tree can be your best friend. So, hug a tree. <laughs> Give me fire water if you want to hear the end of story. <laughs> can any of this be used? <laughs> oh, if Richard says it, I'll use it. <laughs> What the, hell? <laughs> the bag will keep moisture out and my body heat in. Put yourself inside a plastic bag. Oh. You will make things slightly easier for the authorities if you put yourself in the body bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a hole. We got him, boy. Get him. Get him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he also waved his bag so they could see him. He's right, right there! Right there. <laughs> they see you now. He's gonna drop the bag don't and hug, leave it. Don't hug her child, you creep. And then he littered. It's me, Mom! <laughs> and then it cuts back to him. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I'm really your mom. Whoa! Whoa! Like tech war. <laughs> <laughs> Only better. <laughs> Why was there a detour sign? What does that have to do with the internet? Also, make sure you're not Look, sure. mom, the internet. <laughs> uh, again, that is something that the child just gives information about themselves. The child needs to have. She looks like she's bored of her own voice. <laughs> 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 uh, my eyes I can't keep them open. <laughs> So they just lead you until they try to find something that is in, that you're interested in. That's right. Something that strikes a person's particular fancy or interest, whatever. And they, they like I said, they went to put teen teenagers. Yeah, teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> for, for instance, big black booty. <laughs> Let's talk about our first film. Pancreatic cancer. <laughs> You've been diagnosed with dot dot dot. <laughs> Celebration of age, the croning ceremony. Joyous and inspirational older women sharing stories and wisdom, ellipses, history and heritage. Well, well the video starts off naming about 500 famous women. And then it basically says, if you're a crackpot in the Southwest <laughs> on a commune, you can pretend you are a, a person of value. A, cro a croning ceremony is when you're really an old lady and you do like a hippie ceremony and you, you, you say you are wise and old and we, you have something to share with the world. And then someone makes a crown for you. The crown is a symbol of what a woman has accomplished and then they can make a crown. You can choose not to have it. It's but they don't call it the crowning, they call it the croning. Crone. Yeah. A crone is a, a, like the phrase, you old crone. Uh, it's just an old lady. Like the dance of birth, it's just 55 minutes of new age nonsense where nobody says anything of any value. Women are telling their stories. Women are finding their voices. Women are reconnecting to their power. Uh, and they just ramble on and on about croning and, you know, the tribes had the old crones and then they beat the drum and I, they just say things. It, it means nothing. It sounds like psychobabble about mindfulness, the importance of being mindful in your day to day. And then it's, it's, and it's laced with like songs and Try, trying to have pretty philosophies about what it is to be a woman in connection to nature. I vow to pursue deep and personal growth, autonomy, environmental harmony, positive relationships, and greater self-acceptance. It's just a bunch of women droning on and on, and I kept waiting for a man to come in and, and focus them into some sort of conversation, but it never happens. The croning ceremony. Um, originally, for one reason or another, were uncomfortable with the idea of ceremony and ritual. 
found themselves deeply and powerfully involved and captivated by this ceremony. Um, but uh, it kind of like starts out and you're thinking, okay, maybe this is like a celebration of women or uh, be proud of like the, the women in history and what they've contributed uh, to the world. But then I, they start talking about this crowning ceremony and it almost seems like we were getting this idea that it was going to be this subversive like witchcraft video. Wheels of time are turning, turning, turning. Solar fires are burning, burning, burning. Why do you do the ceremony? What is a crone? What is the benefit of being a crone? What does it mean to be a crone? I, that's all that falls in the gobbledygook. It's a gobbledygook. Yeah. It's, just it's a lot of gobbledygook. So it should be a celebration of gobbledygook. And so what happens is that the crones find themselves in the center where they are honored by all the other women. Uh, it's, it's to honor, honor the stage of life with family and friends. What stage of life? The, the old, final. The old. Old. Is there like a, an age cutoff? It's like, okay, now you're a crone elder because you turned 65. Is that like retirement age? Women in their late 50s, 60s, 70s. There's no specifics listed on the Do list. these women have jobs? No. No. They, they, That's they how they range. have time for a croning ceremony. Oh my God. So they range in age from 30 to, I don't know, Miscellaneous. They have so much time that they have to start making up shit yeah. to fill their time with. Croning doesn't belong to just one small group of women. It belongs to all women. What is the purpose of this video? To show in a women's studies class in a community college. And then softly fading, just as a new bud begins to open and bloom. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. Paul McCartney playing the piano. Doing a new song about witchcraft. <laughs> this song's called Cronin. <laughs> Some musical interludes were better than others. The maybe, maybe, maybe I'm amazed. Maybe I'm amazed yeah. ripoff section was... Paul McCartney, sure. Was, uh, but the thing is, like... She, she seemed really proud of that, though. There was a quality to her where she was like, oh, I know this is a good song. I was just gonna say, what if you like wailing on a drum, like over and over and over? Badly. Earth, air, fire, and water. Oh, I love earth, air, wind, and fire. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! Oh, I remembered. I just pound the drum. <laughs> oh, oh no! She's on the, the sinking ship or something. <laughs> She's on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we see another lady who wrote her own song. Basically, I wanted it to represent all the spiritual, earthy values of the planet and her life. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman sitting here. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman here. Wise woman, young woman, nestling me at her breast. Wise woman, young woman, giving me her breast. Oh, God. Wise woman, wise oh, this is so woman, awkward. This is like a Harmony Kareen movie. Wise woman, wise woman. <laughs> You're a mother, you're a mother, you're a maid, you're a mother, you're a mother, you're a maid. Wise woman, wise woman. Oh, that was it. That's it, yeah. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman. Rich, you said the monster. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman. Stop it. You're confusing her with the old grandma banging on the drum. The lady who wrote her own song was a surprisingly decent melody. I was proud of her. Okay. Yeah. But we, okay. the star of the show was the elderly lady with the drum. Oh my God. Oh my wandered God. out of a mental hospital. <laughs> Shot with like a 5,000 millimeter lens. <laughs> not not, from not like Babe two Ruth. miles. <laughs> oh, Babe Ruth. Oh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh my God. There's the, the, in Babe Ruth's elder years, he thought he was a lady and he wound up in Arizona on a female com commune. He was hiding from like the government. He owed taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go hide over there. An unusual form. So this crazy woman 
in the in Which the one? in the back. <laughs> You be more specific. The crazy Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb and Drag gonna come you. <laughs> the crazy woman who is terrible at the bongos yes, and every percussive yes. instrument that she had. She had like a multitude of like different. Had this sort of like she had the pyramid one. Pyramid thing yes. with like a hole. It was almost like a. It's a hollow pyramid and a pop. It's like hole. that Indian uh, oh, instrument. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ancient mother, I hear your. She doesn't even know anyone's filming her. It's like a very long lens. Yeah, why is it so far away? Because you're too embarrassed to be seen with her. <laughs> uh, you do your thing. I'll be shooting from two miles away. <laughs> a safe distance behind plexiglass. <laughs> the old lady with the drum in the back, like, or in the backyard or whatever, like she's drumming and then she says, Next, I'm going to do like uh, an improvisational song that I'm just making up as it goes along, and then she plays it and she sings it. It really doesn't sound that different than the other songs. No, all the songs sound like they were just made up. She changes everything she touches. Everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. Yeah, they kept cutting between her and then the woman on the piano with the crone action figures. Oh yeah, she was like singing to these little action <laughs> figures and they were kind of hunched over. The, the lady who could play the piano in the Uhura costume, although we don't actually see her fingers on the keys. So it's, it's questionable whether or not it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> um, we see the lady play the flute, but it's from quite a distance. That also is staged. Uh, the one that was a total fraud was the lady who went, went back to Ireland for her Celtic oh, roots. Oh my God. And she's the guy like, I got this Irish harp here. She starts to add a little, yeah. little accent. You know, she doesn't have that back in the States. She's yeah. from New Jersey. So uh, when I was there, I had several uh, truly extraordinary, uh, I would call spiritual experiences. Um, <laughs> uh, but when she's in Ireland, she has a little bit of the accent. Celtic lilt. Uh, here's my Celtic Celtic harp, and she goes, do, 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 do. like like just randomly select strings, and then goes. Yeah. I won't play any more for you now. She says I won't that's the, to that's embarrass the, myself. That's the extent of my repertoire. Uh, yes, yes. That's my repertoire for the moment. But she's, that lady was a fraud. She's a fucking fraud. First of all, she says she goes to Ireland and then they're showing pictures of Ireland that <laughs> you assume are pictures that she took on her trip to Ireland, but they're clearly just postcards Post because you can see it cut off. It says Ireland and, it's see the just, D from and Ireland. you can see it's yeah. just resting on a, on a like tabletop or something. Uh, it seemed very important. Um, Hey, that's where they filmed Star Wars. Yes. Oh! Like, yeah, that's just Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple, yeah. right there. Yeah. Hot damn. Uh, well, back, uh, back to celebrating the non-accomplishments of elderly women. <laughs> God almighty. Through a fake ceremony. Uh, I guess fine. they're trying to... You know, they... they're not hurting anybody. If you want to drag an old lady out into the woods and throw some flowers on her head, that's fine. Is, is there a specific like crone age or can you be like a 20 year old crone? I don't really understand. They said there were CITs, it was crones in training. Then there are those of us who are known as the CITs, the crones in training. Um. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, is an like Scientology thing. or something. Yeah, yeah kind of. It's, it's, it's weird. But with no end game. Scientology is actually better thought out. Is it like a, would it be like a murder of crones? You're trying to murder. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about some of our narrators. We have lady whose brain has been damaged by LSD. All across the country. Um... So, yeah, it was a hard time forming sentences. I guess like the one you'd probably call the host. Yeah, yeah. She almost seems like an instructor, a teacher at like, like a community college that teaches a women's studies class. She's so baked. Yeah. We had... Um... Did you have to actually teach something to be a teacher? Like, you have to have information that's of value? Every woman who has gone through her decades become a crone. I picked but up you your trash. Handle it. I picked up your you trash. You left some padding and you left some cat litter. Is a woman to be honored, a woman with great wisdom. And if it's a 
four bag limit, let me say this to the universe, and you go to a customer's garbage cans and they got five bags, then you charge them for one extra. Uh, a woman from whom we all have a great deal to learn, a woman whose stories matter tremendously. But yeah, you can tell that she's the intellectual of the group. Yeah. And then there's like there's like uh, Babe Ruth and, and with the wig on, who who has like their own personal stories, and then, you know, there's like, oh, I did this, and you know. But um, and then and then the real real authoritarian on the subject is Kathleen Kennedy at the yeah. end. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's she's in the middle of a rainstorm, uh -huh. and she's explaining to us all about croning. Solo was the croning achievement of her career. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The, the Crone the Wars. Crone Wars. <laughs> Damn it. Oh! Begun the Crone Wars has. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an army of crones. <laughs> Paul McCartney's in it? No. <laughs> oh, was that in Obi Wan that Kenobi? That's a bad Obi Wan. <laughs> so we have the planet where Luke is hiding and Kathleen Kennedy, mm -hmm. both in celebration of age. Star Wars celebration of age. <laughs> $185 a ticket for a weekend pass. Uh, we, get to, we, get to, we get to pay to go to get a uh, Kathleen Kennedy's croning ceremony. <laughs> That guy's mad. He's at, he's at his sports bar. I just run out and beat him. What if he just he never stops? It's like a day in his life, and he's literally just doing that from the time he wakes up in, he's the, in the shower. Constantly, constantly. He's like working the drive through at McDonald's. <laughs> day every, job. Every day, Mr. Wiggles struggles with super Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is uh, Mr. Wiggles' disease. Yeah. yeah. They named it after him. This is him just like sitting there. Yeah, he doesn't want to be doing this. His brain is creating these patterns and making his body move. This is actually a sad documentary. There's always yeah. somebody standing off to the Flying side. Flying their arms? It's really difficult when he has to go to the bathroom. Urine <laughs> <laughs> everywhere? That's everywhere. It's a mess. <laughs> what is, like... It's like a security camera. <laughs> <laughs> like he's he's outside your front door. <laughs> and you, just, you just hear the music. You, from the <laughs> you're watching him oh, through no. that little app oh, or no. the doorbell thing. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, go away. <laughs> the pizza guy won't Stop. leave. <laughs> the pizza guy keeps trying to show me his pants. He's just clothes. talking to himself. What was yeah. it, like 1995? Yeah. So 1995, if you put this in your VCR in 1995, the quality would be terrible. Like it's just, it's not good enough. It's not good enough to learn from. Cut. This is the old cut right here. Ugh, it's like a, like it's got the shitty quality audio and video of like a beheading. <laughs> <laughs> These are our demands. <laughs> These are our demands. <laughs> Give us what we want, or we'll make you watch Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna keep going. You may be caught in the world wide web of deceit. <laughs> Hi, I'm so-and-so. Yeah. Hello, I'm James there Robinson. And I welcome you to the video presentation we have titled World uh -oh. Wide Web of Deceit. He, We're he shouts to Christian pastor. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a, a pastor. Oh, yeah. Once I heard him talking. Evangelical. I met the Lord watching your show. <laughs> oh, God. We've been tricked. Why did he say? I met the Lord. The Lord. Oh, oh, yeah. gosh, damn it. Beauty and the Beast. There's actually a beauty with the beast <laughs> of the girl from the movie Beauty with the Beast. Yeah. The I've only heard about this. Sexually with the beast. Come on. My 
velour tracks. It's <laughs> ruined. It weighs it's 100 ruined. pounds. Oh, yeah. You can see both of them. <laughs> <laughs> struggling. That's the only reason he was caught. He's <laughs> 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 arms in water like a sponge. His <laughs> bell bottoms are adding another 80 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I was pregnant! <laughs> you know, I don't have to touch your vagina, right? <laughs> <laughs> touch it there! Touch it there! He's all crumped over. He's, uh, I gotta walk? <laughs> when will you know? Why is he standing behind the table? <laughs> He's like, he had to like wedge himself back there. How is he going to get out? Can you move your table? I got to get out now. God, there's so many TVs. <laughs> oh, no, oh, he's fading in. Oh, no. Oh, there they are. No. Performance will be groundbreaking. Why is he frozen? Oh. So they could fade in. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, one of them's a giant! Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, Kale's shirt opens on the left, uh, and oh. Kate's opens on the right. Yeah, why are they wearing the same clothes? <laughs> the twins, Mike. Even after being abducted by aliens, they got in the same genes. Oh, he's, he's, he's growing. Look at it. Yeah, look at his feet. Do the aliens get him clothes? The final time I saw Kale broke my heart. Although we were now humanoids, I still felt a bond and love for him as my brother. Oh my god. Faster. <laughs> hey, faster. Faster, more intense. You could so watch this whole movie at 1.5 times. <laughs> yeah, I could. It suddenly it's really good. This guy, he looks like a tiny Burt Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> like, with a fake Burt Reynolds it's, it's, it's the love child of Burt Reynolds and Joe Pesci. <laughs> At the time of filming, both these guys are like 23. <laughs> That's a long shot. They just left the camera on, they're running back to get it. <laughs> Let's use that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that, that woman's, woman's, being, that right. woman's being. Wait, what? Oh, the, ninja? <laughs> the ninjas just. Oh, ninja what? Coming. What the fuck just happened? And in in apparently, in a scene that we just didn't get, uh, Dom DeLuise ninja is, is forced upon the female gang member. Right. Because we're like, is he raping her? What is happening? We had no idea what was going on. Yeah, it's, this is a very, very confusing scene. Uh, well, but, don't our heroes say he's raping her? Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. they jump in to save the girl. But I think then... she pulled him down onto her. I was just walking home, and these guys from this gang just grabbed me, pulled me right in the center, and they put me on top of that girl, and I didn't even know her. My mom knew that she would crack up, man. Who the hell are you? We do eventually find out that he really is a creep, so I'm assuming he was lying about that? <laughs> but I have no evidence to back this theory up. <laughs> Who knows? It is when just he, a theory. When do we find out he's... Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. I just remember <laughs> that, he, that he beats somebody to death with a trophy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. Uh, oh slowly walk towards his kick. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, who? Come on, you! What are you thinking? Oh, get him! <laughs> and this is the reshoot, and it, it just makes the movie so much more confusing because yeah. this is happening, and then. With lots of pickup shots of people saying, Get him! That's it! Tear him up! Uh, it's just not all bad! Yeah, and you don't yeah see all the that shots are so disconnected all. from each other. Yeah. But you need a giant, large action scene to open your movie with. Even if you don't know what's happening or who anybody is. Come on, get in there! What? <laughs> He's using his shoes! 
it, he didn't have to because the guy didn't get anywhere near him with pirate? that thing. He's catching Chinese stars in his shoes. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Everybody get him now! <laughs> 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 Standing there. <laughs> just standing in the this circle. This is amazing. Get him. Maybe that scene in Last Jedi. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like the throne just, room. They're waiting. <laughs> but that cliche of, like, yeah, there's a, a group of, you know, gang guys in an action movie that are coming after our hero, but they come after him one at a time. Mm-hmm. Usually you just see, you know, the bad guy, like, run into frame. Mm-hmm. Here we're getting, like, overhead shots of everybody just standing, standing around. there. It's like they have. It's like they have. They're at the deli and they have their number, yeah, yeah. and they're, they're waiting for their number to be called. Yeah. <laughs> Number twenty-two. Oh, okay. so, oh. <laughs> kicking the balls. We teach three private lessons. Right. They have to determine your attention span, basic balance, and coordination. Mm-hmm. At the end of that time, our chief instructor will evaluate him. What? What am I supposed to be getting out of this scene? <laughs> it's like three different things going on. <laughs> A very sterile phone call. <laughs> Erotic karate posing. <laughs> In a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> Our brains have to process this and a Neil Breen movie. All right. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, can we talk about that? That's, that's my favorite scene in the movie. Is the the awkward, uh, boring, droll phone conversation while yeah. sexy karate is happening yeah. in the background? So and I, I think he's supposed to be like, "Ooh, she's doing sexy karate," but he's just drolly talking on the phone about like, "Yeah, we're open. We can yeah. 8 p.m." We, we, I we, think that's supposed. To, I think that's supposed to be a contrast, though. Like he's trying. He's trying to have the business call. But he's distracted. No, we don't teach kung fu. We teach karate. I think he's talking to a kid's parent because he's like, no, 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 don't go to that level yet. Like, they need to learn this first. Because we teach karate, not kung fu. It's all so weird. And then, like, yeah, because we're seeing him, and then there's a mirror in the foreground. So we see her in the reflection of the mirror. She's doing But she's just, like, in, like, like an empty void. Like, the lighting is so bad, it looks like she's just floating in space. I'll see you tomorrow. You didn't let us down. Wait a minute. Now we got the people's court theme playing. All right, Shank, one time, one time only. Where's Hart? Hart? Who? What the fuck? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> he just went through some random barbecue. Hey, it's Jack Tripper. <laughs> Who? <laughs> it's like what the there. fuck is happening? <laughs> these are these. I'm assuming these are the evil karate guys. These are the guys. evil karate guys. They're all just hanging out on someone's porch. Yes. 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 Oh, he's getting in the water, definitely. Yeah, that's production value. Wet clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fight on that shaky duck. Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's flying! Holy shit! Fuck! Oh, just they ruined the that vet. <laughs> what a waste. Oh no, he's just gonna run he's away. He's gonna run fight. away. Ah, good thing his mustache protected him from <laughs> 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 from head traumas, like his afro. Get off of that bike! <laughs> <laughs> just stealing motorcycles now. He's got, Ooh, this, got an old school he's got these baby blue velour like lounge suit on, <laughs> and he's got like a karate suit and an afro, and they're on motorbikes. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> oh, be careful! <laughs> you fucking drown. They're chasing each other through a waterfall. <laughs> they like end up in the Antarctic. Whoa, whoa. Hit the camera. <laughs> So funny. Like driving, <laughs> driving past polar bears. He fell over oh, again. No. Oh, they both fell over. Oh, okay. Uh, the bad guy should really just say, "Why are you chasing, why are you chasing me?" me? <laughs> let's, let's discuss this. Why? This is kind of romantic, though. Yeah. <laughs> like there's this. Give me your hand. He hits. He hits velour tracksuit guy. <laughs> And then I guess he falls off a cliff. It's yeah, really, it's, a, it's the most right. awkward yeah. edit in the world because he hits no, him. No, isn't he like holding he, out his hand? You, you guys are missing the chainsaw fight. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wait, <laughs> well, he's got a chainsaw. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's just running. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's just running in the background. I, I mean, no, you saw a smoke. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Crazy. These guys are fucking nuts. <laughs> oh Jesus my god! It's like the end of Mandy. Well, we thought yeah. it was like a fake chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> it flies out of his hand at one point and hits the ground, and you can see the smoke and everything. Yeah. And then there's an axe on the ground. <laughs> oh Why my is all god! Shit? Why is all this shit in the woods? <laughs> Guess he's gonna find a gun. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're like crazy. really going at it. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh my God. Yay! Oh, I fell on my keys. <laughs> we didn't even have a little moment. That know? was so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to be? A warlock? Or how about the Tin Man? Yes, you'd make a fine Tin Man. Or a detective? Yes, a Detective Sam Spade. A secret agent, perhaps. I am a detective. That's the director's <laughs> wife. That's the only excuse for this. Yeah. I've been dressing people up for so long. <laughs> this, this nonsense. If they were to do a reboot of this, I would I would cast Tilda Swinton in her role. Ooh. The mm. You could cast Tilda Swinton in every role. It's in like this, Suspiria. In this movie? She'd be James so Dugan. Good. Yeah, that's true. That's right. She played an old man in uh, Suspiria. She could do it. <laughs> I'd watch an old Tilda Swinton version she, of Through Dead she, Eyes. She has to wa watch like years and years of Star Trek to get down the character. <laughs> She's wearing a green sock on one of her fingers <laughs> so they can digitally remove it. No, she actually enlists in the military and goes to war and loses one of her fingers <laughs> in battle. There's a nice cute touch when they go into the costume store and the first thing you see on the wall on oh, the right yeah. side when they go in are completely inaccurate Star Trek uniforms. I, yeah, I think that was, I don't even think that was an Easter egg. I think those were probably just there. Is there a William Shatner mask or was it a joke? Star Trek! Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. I missed it! Yes. I wonder if they have yeah. the Mike Myers mask. Oh. I bet you James Duan was just like, I don't want a fucking Shatner mask in yeah. that store. But he wanted the Star Trek uniform. He wasn't on set when they filmed that. Yeah, he true. was on set for one day. <laughs> yeah. it was no, it room. wasn't his set, it was his living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We have some? Yes. It's uh, an eye patch. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like the Toxic Avenger with an eye patch. She on. did it. Uh, and she seems odd and off, and she's probably the killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out she's the killer, and she's also James du James Duhan's wife. It's her. Oh God, she's the costume star. Uh, cast uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! Yikes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Anytime my character talks about their yeah. their wife, and you, yeah. for multiple scenes, you don't you never see, her. see her. I think yeah. he's just embarrassed to talk about his wife because she works in a costume store, <laughs> and also she's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> this is how. And she's embarrassed to talk about him because he's she's James married to James Star Trek <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's lording it over Walter Koenig's wife. Uh, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Did she have any family? Family? Would family let a girl paint her face like an Indian? 
Would family let a young and attractive girl wear jeans so tight? That's the problem. There are no restraints. No one holds back. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> are you his girlfriend? Are you a slut? <laughs> a slut strangler. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to take my word. She looks like one. just like Dana Carvey, in, <laughs> <laughs> the master the of disguise. The, 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 the turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the turtle. You swore to me. I protected you, and you swore you'd stop. They were in love. What about the others? Were they in love? They would have been. They would have been in love. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and this acting scene between the two of them is uh, they're really it's oh, it's man. a combination of somebody overacting <laughs> and somebody just wanting to nap loved you like who said it should have been a john waters movie yeah yeah, yeah her performance in that scene is is i think mike mentioned that it's like something right out of a john waters film it's it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful our love is a perfect thing a perfect thing Thing in the eyes of God. Those others were sinners and they've been cleansed. We are a perfect thing in God's eyes. In my eyes. Go home to your mother. Doesn't she ever watch you? Tell her this isn't some communist daycare center. Beam me up. <laughs> 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 no! Yeah. Those are fake yeah. rubber rats. Yeah, Wait, what? The rubber like rats. Rubber rats next to the It's supposed to look like a filthy alley. Yeah, so he put rubber rats. <laughs> That's his friends. That's the homeless man's friends. Oh, Jesus. Shoot. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's I okay. apologize. It's okay. I got it. No, 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 no. Hey, let me get that hey, for you. Hey, shoot. Wait, Gosh, it's my fault. It. It's no, my no. fault, really. I apologize. Just leave me alone. Let me make leave it up alone. to you. No. He acts like he well, just met her, point. and he's he's being a real fucking creeper. Yeah. Who won't leave her alone? He's like, no, hey, you want to go out for a drink? You know, and she's like, leave me alone, you creep, whatever. And then she she walks home and he starts following her. <gasps> I'm gonna hurt you now. <gasps> You're mine now. I'll teach you to ignore me. You were supposed to meet me at eight. Bitch. You can't fight me. Why is that painting there? <laughs> this looks like a scene from Dree's Company. <laughs> Bitch. Is this real? <laughs> is this really happening? It turns out it's just a game they were playing yeah. but then it gets even worse he yeah but before that before that yeah he like like he attacks her and she smashes like a painting over his head how often do they role play and how many paintings has she broken maybe, over his head maybe he called her beforehand and said you know did you make that painting out of balsa wood and painting frame and you know because um, I, I want you to hit me over the head with it and then i'm gonna call you a bitch three times bitch 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 but you don't know. Is it part of the appeal that they have to pretend to not know each other in front of homeless people? I guess. Is that a part of it? Yeah. Who knows? And, and in front of rubber rats? <laughs> rubber rats. <laughs> so it's these two rubber rats by the homeless guy, and we don't know is the homeless guy crazy and just has these rubber rats, or is Neil Breen using them as props? Thinks they're supposed to be. Th well, they're pretending is, in, that they're in, supposed to be real in rats. In his mind, that scene is like a filthy alleyway. Right. That's the idea. But That's it's how a it's... very clean community college campus. But it's the front steps of the community college where the entire fucking movie is filmed. It's the very new community college they just built last year, and it's pristine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the money I got from the hit. Give me the package. That's oh, our God. damn Get money. Get away from me. Oh. Dude. This is for oh both of us. gosh. Was he trying to do some weird contrast with his evil side? Well, we get that contrast because we get a really similar see, uh, scene with Cade. Kale. Uh, and uh, they're, you know, like passing out Kale, drugs like what a vegetarian like would eat, which makes it evil. <laughs> yes. But they, they have like a weird fight scene, but it's real because they're both strung out on drugs, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Straighten up! 
fucked up. I don't care. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Yeah. And like he pushes her off the bed. <laughs> this comic <laughs> slapstick falls. like roll well, off the bed. He smacks her and then she just kind of awkwardly rolls off the bed. Yeah. But um. he tries to smack her and then catches some of the wine bottles. I'm wondering if you actually hear the sound effect, but when she smacks him, she just like catches his hoodie. But this is like his version of what like an alcoholic drug addicted couple relationship right. would yeah. be like they just have tons of bottles and pills uh, uh like lots of wine. alcohol bottles and yeah yeah it's like a, like a student film or something yeah, that scene it's, it's in, like in every aspect of like you know whether it's it's that or uh, other uh, acting aspect neil breen just seems to be like constantly impersonating a human being yeah mm -hmm. as opposed to representing a human being yeah do you remember when like i don't know if it was like microsoft or, or google like they had they tried to have like the the chat bot they tried to teach to communicate with people. <laughs> no, yeah. Is that Neil Green? <laughs> <laughs> they should vocalize the little clippy guy with Neil Breen's voice. <laughs> it I... looks like you're having trouble here. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you want? Do How can I help you? <laughs> What if you, you could do like a text to speech, but you could get it in like Neil Breen, you could get an article like read to you in Neil Breen's voice? It'd be, it'd be great if there was like a novelization of Twisted Pear. <laughs> I would buy that and read it, just it's, to like... It's just literally, just you just randomly bang on a keyboard. No, it's like, it's just separate words. Technology, yeah. artificial yeah. intelligence. No, the novelization... Cyborg warfare, Biolog is that a thing? Biological, Biological DNA. Yeah. Biological cybernetic warfare, what does he say? I, I, I you, bought the novelization of Twisted Pair. It just says, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. It goes on for like 700 pages. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would find the novelization of Twisted Pear on Amazon, be like, like buy it right away and you open it up and it's all lorem ipsum. Anyone? No? Fuck! It was only business. What? Had to do it. Right. <laughs> That's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Here. Bitch! <laughs> Good thing this lazy boy's here. Yeah, I was gonna say you should pull from off camera another. Let me die on painting. the chair, bitch! <laughs> bitch.